Hey, cutie pies, it's Lanikia, and I'm coming to you with the uh, Tuesday, 3-15-2022 episode of The Bold and the Beautiful. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, y'all. If Okay, y'all know how we do. 1 to 10, this got to be like a 4 or 5. I'm going to give it a 5, but I'm being generous. I don't know, maybe because I watched General, uh, Young and the Restless and then did the, my video for Young and the Restless. So by the time I was done my with my video, it was time to talk about this. I mean, to watch this. And it was just a letdown. It was like the same thing we've been talking about. But let me go ahead and get into this for, um, for you guys. Because it's still my favorite soap, but it's like, oh my gosh. So Taylor and Ridge, we go into seeing that Taylor is in bed and Ridge wakes her up with coffee. And... Um, Ridge wakes her up with coffee and he just tells her again that Brooke's letting him go. And she, it's the same conversation they've been having about just take things slow. So Steffi calls Thomas and she says, um, dad is in, he, he, Thomas calls and he says, where's dad? Have you seen him? She says, oh, he's still with mom. Um, he just went to take her coffee and everything. So he's still at the house, you know, cause he was running late. And she says, see, our parents are together. Aren't you happy or whatever? Um, and this wouldn't have happened if Brooke was still in the picture. So all the more reason for Thomas not to tell about what he knows uh, uh, Sheila did to Brooke. So then we see Deacon and Sheila. And Sheila, that's a sexual harassment, girl. So she is rubbing, I mean, uh, touching all up on Deacon. And he's like, would you please stop? I knew it was you. And she was like, um... Then Sheila told him, one night with me, you will be forgetting about Brooke. And it's like, leave me alone, Sheila. But um, she's um just talking to him about how much he needs to go after uh Brooke and, and Deacon is out of the picture. I'm like, dang, Sheila, you can't hold anything. Like, you want this to happen so bad. You, like, you put it in motion. Just let it naturally happen. But not Sheila. She's like, mm -mm, I need to see it happen. I need to, you know, I, it's got to happen on my terms. Um, so towards, um, she, and he's just like, she's heartbroken. Even if I wanted Brooke, she's broken over um, Ridge right now. And everybody know her and Ridge, she and Ridge are probably going to get back together in the end. And she was like, no, it's different this time. Sorry, guys. No, it's different this time. And he's just not, he's not buying it. Um, so we see that Ridge and Taylor come outside and Steffi is there and she's just so excited about having her parents under the same roof. And she says, I'm going to gush about it. I'm just happy. I'm so happy that, you know, you guys are together again and y'all working, you know, and, and they're telling her like, we're taking things slow. We, we you know, we're just, they, they're trying to tell Steffi, don't get your hopes all up like this. Like she's like, no pressure. I'm just so happy to see my parents again. I'm like, girl, how old are you? You and Thomas and ho put hope in there too, and then tell Grace for Paris. So, I mean, oh my gosh, this in this soap, I've never seen so many adult people in their parents and children's lives. Oh my gosh, but it be making a good soap. Um, so. Steffi is just so excited that her parents are together in her house. And she was like, I'm not, I'm, I'm just happy that you finally let Brooke go and you came home to us and everything that, so that's with them. And then we see, um, Sheila tells Deacon, like, he was like, why are you such a big fan of Taylor right now? She said, if Taylor's happy, then that means, um, she could, you know, talk to Steffi and I might get to spend more time with my grandson because then Steffi will be happy that her parents are back excuse me, together, and Sheila and Brooke is out of the way, so you, I mean, of course, we all knew everything was about Sheila, but, um, so Ridge and Taylor, um, so Ridge and Taylor leave, you know, at, after they get to talking with stuff, they go to work, so, um, Ridge makes it to the office, but before he makes it there, Hope actually comes to speak to him, but Thomas is there, and so then she and Thomas start going back and forth, and Thomas tells her, my parents are happy, and he wants them to be together, and she should just let it go, and Hope is like, but my mom is blaming herself, and she's making herself, like, she's giving up hope, because, um, because she's hurt Ridge and she just feels like there's no hope. And Thomas is just like, I'm and dad are happy. I'm like, Oh my, I'm sorry. Y'all. I know I keep complaining, but I'm just like, Oh my gosh, <laughs> y'all are too over this. But 
So they're going back and forth over who's who's mom Ridge to be with. <laughs> they're going back and forth over who who he should be with, and um, Thomas is just like. My dad is happy. My mom is happy. I want my parent, you know, I want my parents together and everything. And Hope is like, yeah, but my mom and Ridge are so good together. I want my mom to be happy. Um, that's pretty much all I was talking about, y'all. And then Thomas leaves and Hope is still in the office because he said he got a meeting and Ridge comes in. And so when Ridge comes in, um, he, she starts talking to Ridge about Brooke again. He said, Brooke is letting me go. And she said, yeah, because she thinks there's no hope. If she knew there was hope, she would not be letting you go. And yada, yada, yada. And Ridge is just, and so then Steffi comes in and Steffi's like, uh-uh, Hope, don't do that. Don't do that. And so Steffi starts going off and Ridge was like, Steffi, stop. She just wants her mom happy. And she said, and I want my mom happy. And my parents are together and they are good together. And nobody can help that you, um, Brooke let Rick, Deacon go into your bed, into her bed, um, lay down where my dad, where you were dad. And she kissed him and she was drinking and she was doing all that. Like everybody keeps saying that. And she said, it's Brooke did all of this. And now my dad is where he belongs with his family. And I'm like, again, how old are y'all like Ridge? Make this girl be quiet since she she's acting like a child. Tell this girl to be quiet like a child and then send Hope on her way. Like Hope, how many times are you going to talk to this man? This is between you and your mom, Ridge and your mom. Like y'all need to stay out of this. But anyways, so then. Sheila calls Thomas and she tells Thomas, do you have you said anything? And he's like, Sheila, stop calling me. And she's like, you just better keep your mouth shut about what I've done. Y'all, it was not much of an episode today. <laughs> it was not. Normally my um, reviews for Bold and the Beautiful are at least eight minutes. I'm barely at seven and I'm just thinking, did I miss something here today? But I mean, that's just because it wasn't that much of an episode. But anyway, Sheila just tells Thomas, keep your mouth shut. And and don't tell what, I, what I've done because, you know, she don't want to get in trouble. And plus, she's thinking this is a win for me. And I get to, I get to hurt Brooke along the way. So, yeah. So that's all it was really was with this episode. It was just them once again saying how much they want their parents. Each of them, like Hope wants her Ridge with her mom, Taylor and Thomas and Steffi want um, Ridge with Taylor and Sheila wants Deacon with Brooke, so Brooke doesn't have any intuitions of going back to uh, Ridge and messing that up. Because at the end of the day, what everyone knows is that if Ridge found out the truth, he would be headed right on back to Taylor. And they all know that, and so they're trying to stop that from happening. So that was a bold and a beautiful thing, y'all. Um, hopefully it gets better. <laughs> next, the, the next episode is better, because I'm giving it a five, but it was really like a four. But I'm going to go and give it a five for today. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow.